Welcome guys to a long awaited time, at least for me, where um I am finally opening up this uh the Pokemon Go series here. The three teams. But we're starting with Instinct. Then episode two will be Team Mystic, and finally episode three will be Team Valor for last. Other than that, here it is. Each one, if you couldn't tell already, um, comes with the pin with the corresponding team. And it comes with the trainer of the corresponding teams. But what I mean by trainers is if, if you've ever done the practice match or the practice duel, whatever they call it, these are the corresponding guys you would face in those matches depending on which team you're representing. So that I loved all this. When this all came out, or when I saw it rather, um, I was uh, very uh, giggity, let's say, about it. Because this is a very cool way to connect with the video game. Um, and then, of course, to connect with back with the cards. This is, I, in my opinion, this is a great way to um, you know get that little connection there. Especially because, again, it comes with the pin. So like I could wear this pin with my team valor shirt because i also have the shirt that i bought from the pokemon center website so i have a whole little outfit going on here plus i have my ash ketchum hat but that doesn't fit me anymore but hey um so without further ado let's get into it i'll let you guys uh check out the back of the box there okay so we get our six packs and a promo and I know we get some goodies for the game, and unfortunately, I am greedy there. Sorry, guys. I'm just being honest. I'm going to keep those, those codes for myself. Um, so that'll stay over there. That'll stay here. Okay. Now, here we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Here is Carte Blanche. Oh no, wrong person. Spark, sorry. Blanche is uh, Mystic's person. Okay. So there's Spark. It's a very good uh, quality card, actually, in terms of... Um, in terms of... Condition. So now we get our six packs. And I'm sure there's a cool card in here somewhere. And... Ooh. Oops, 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 whoa. And again, in this case, I'm not gonna lie, I would love to, I'm gonna keep this only because I do play the game a lot and I don't have another set of these that I'm gonna open. The other set of these that I have, I'm actually keeping sealed for the collection for the foreseeable future. Maybe if I buy more in the future, you know, we'll uh, unveil those then at that time. All right, so here is the Instinct um, pin. Very cool. There we go. Okay. And to add a little flavor, we're going to add two Chilling Rain at the end of this. But what I really want is our six Pokemon Go packs. And again, in case you forgot, the cards we're chasing here are... Um, excuse me. The Mewtwo V that's like kind of floating above what looks like Times Square kind of thing. Which I also bought at the card shop in Long Island along with the secret or gold black Mew which I forgot to show you in the last episode as I'm literally talking about it now so I should take a small break as soon as we're done with this one pack and I should show you both cards Charmander Ariados and Blissey both non-dittos because I love that ditto card that thing is so cool all right, real quick, pause. All right, folks, so I ended up buying four cards at the store, and so I was like, you know, let me just bring them all out. So a couple vintage here, a Neo Ampharos, 
And this is from what? I believe 2000. So we're talking a 23 year old card here. Pretty cool. It is not perfect. But it was only 10 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy graded and hope that, uh, you know, we get something good. And since he's electric, maybe it'll give us some luck with uh, Team Instinct. Here is another vintage, also from the same Neo set. Slow King, and again, Slow King's popular. I've sold this card in the past. Again, not perfect, if you can tell there. But it does have the swirl in front right there on the side, if you see it on the left side there. You gotta love the swirls. Here is the Golden Black Mew that I was not able to pull yet in Fusion Strike. But I have every other conceivable Mew form in that set. And it looks pretty good. It's not perfectly centered, but again, a $15 investment. And I was like, okay, in my opinion, worth it. And here's the Pokemon Go Mewtwo V that I've been looking for. And again, they had it at the store. And I said, you know what? I'll risk it. Uh, I believe this was $10. Don't remember, but there we go. Now we can continue with our packs. Tar, Chansey, Spark, Pikachu, Pidove, Rattata, Wimpod, Pikachu again, Numel, and oh, cool! That is a neat Dragonite. I kind of like uh, his face there, his uh, his facial expression. Kind of feeling that there. All right, got a hit there. Cool. I'll take it for now. So that's one of six. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to even check. Okay, the the about, I was, I forgot to check New Mel to see if it was a a non ditto, and it was a non ditto. So there we go. Oops. No. 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 There you go. Much better. Well, it did not come out clear the first time, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Here we go. War Turtle, Unpheasant, Lure Module, Wimpod, Pidov, Magikarp, Meltan, Eevee, Snorlax, and Lapras, both non-dittos. All right. So far, no dice in a ditto. We did get a hit, though. So, the hit still counts. Again, 50% hit rate would be absolutely perfect for me. So, if we get three hits out of the six packs, I will be happy. Even if it's not Mewtwo. Here we go. Solrock, Egg Incubator, uh, Charmeleon, Tranquil. Sorry, I drew a blank there. Larvitar, Natu, Slowpoke, Amber Palm. Ooh, yes, Radiant Venusaur, and I love it because I already have Radiant Blastoise, so all I'm missing is the one that I'm looking for, Radiant Charizard, that is nice, ah, oh, and Sylveon, cool, all right, gonna sleeve up Venusaur, that is so cool, man, that attack is serious. I'm going to sleeve this up first. And then you guys, okay, I'm going to read this to you. Okay, let's see. This is so cool. All right. So it says, Pollen Hazard for 90 damage. However, your opponent's active Pokemon is automatically burned, confused, and poisoned. Three different status changes. Very cool. For three energies. Very good quality card there. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, if I get one more hit. Oh, I'll be happy. Oh, that's all I'm asking for. One more hit. Here 
we go. One, two, four. Okay. Rare candy. War turtle. Candela. Bibarel. Spinarak. Pidove. Ratata. Wimpod. Zapdos. And Tyranitar. Non dittos, by the way. Non dittos. All right, last pack from the box. Hoping we at least get a third hit. I'll be happy with a third hit. 50%. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I'm asking for here. One, two, three, four. These cards feel a little more slippery. All right. Ariados, Blanche, Steelix, Squirtle, Fidoof, Meltan, Charmander, Apom, Tranquil, and Zapdos. Non dittos. Alright, unfortunately, no 50% hit right there. Moving on to Chilling Rain. But at least we got two hits, and one of the two is Radiant Venusaur. I think I will add him to the grading pile. Because Radiant Blastoise is already on that pile. And of course, I was hoping that I get Radiant Charizard before I mail them out. But um, so far, no luck. Okay, here we go Whirlipede, Crushing Gloves, Honey, Kubfu, Hatina, Sobble, Bounce Sweet, Furfro, Della Bird. And Doug Trio. Flannery, Old Cemetery, Steeny, Farfetched, Cast Form, Larvesta, Sobble, Ladyba, Thunderous, and Weezing. Alright, unfortunately, no hits with the two packs. And even though we did not get a 50% hit rate with the other one, uh, with the box rather, but it is what it is. And now we move on to Team Mystic. Thank you guys for watching.